Hi, my name is Bob Williams and Keith Bowen has asked me to show you how to put away a bassoon and swab it out so hopefully water does not get where it shouldn't be. So the first thing you need to do obviously is take off your reed, put it in your case so it won't crack and, and your friends won't break it. There we go. Then we take off the buckle. You always want to grab the buckle from as close to the end, the, the end where it goes into the bore as possible so you won't bend the buckle and put it in your case. Let me just stick it there. Now try to keep the bassoon upright as much as you can. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bell off the horn, trying to raise the keys on, on this particular horn so that I'm not bending anything. So I put the bassoon in the bell, the bell in the, <laughs> in the, in the case. Now I'm going to take the long joint off, put it in the case, and I'm going to take the wing joint and I'm going to, holding the, the boot joint vertical, I'm going to place the wing joint in the case while it's still damp, but I'm trying to put it in to keep the water from getting into the pads. Now I'm going to finger a low E on the boot joint and I'm going to grab the bassoon where, where the, uh, the seat strap ring is, the hole for the seat strap, and I'm going to carefully pour the water out of the bassoon and if you do it this way, it'll keep the water from getting into the tone holes, especially the C-sharp tone hole. And then once, once that's done, I'm going to grab my swab. Is this the right swab? No. <laughs> I'm going to grab the boot joint swab, which is, this is a Fox boot joint swab. It has a, a, a small weight at the bottom. You always put the weight on the large side of the boot joint, the dry side of the boot joint. The, the whole idea is to keep the, right now the swab is dry and you want to keep water from getting into the wood side of the bore. Okay, then I'm going to basically push the, the swab through so, so I, the weight comes through and then, then basically slowly pull the swab through the bore. And this will get most of the water out and then you're, you'll probably have a little bit of water in the receiver, in the, in the uh, brass receiver, and I'm just going to take the swab around and try to get the water out of the receiver. Now at this point I can put the boot joint back into the bassoon. I'm going to grab the wing joint swab and I'm going to put the swab into the end of the wing joint. You always want to make sure there's absolutely no knots in the swab because if there are any knots in the swab, especially in the wing joint swab, you can ruin the bassoon by getting the swab stuck in the bassoon. And it's really, really critical to make sure that you don't want to get a swab stuck in the bassoon. This is a new Fox swab. It has a, uh, it's got another, it's got an end piece. If by any chance you do get it stuck, you can pull the little uh, string that's on the end of the swab out. Then I look into the bore. I want to make sure the bore is shiny. If I see any water, I'm, I'm going to pull the swab and, and put it through the instrument one more time. There we go, and then I'll put the swab in the case. If you want to be really, really careful, if you want to make sure you have no water at all in your bassoon, a lot of the times I will take both the boot joint and I will put my chin on the bottom and I will close all the tone holes and suck on the bassoon and then open one tone hole at a time and that will suck any water that's in the tone holes back into the bore and then I can pull the swab back. So it's something like this. And this way, you, you want to make sure your tone holes will be dry, especially if you by any chance get any water in the C-sharp tone hole, which is the one that is really, really bad. And, and also the same thing on the wing joint. You can just put your finger over the end of the wing joint, suck, and open one tone hole at a time, and that will draw the water back into the bore, and then you can swab it out again. And that way you'll have a fairly dry bassoon, and you don't have to worry about pads getting warped from being wet and things like that. So this is... This is something you have to do every time you put your bassoon away. It, it will, it'll make your bassoon last much longer. It'll make your pads last much longer. And it's just very, very good for everyday maintenance for your bassoon. Hope this helps. Thanks.